So what's going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we're going to take a look at HStack. Now HStack, we have already used something known as VStack, but we're going to explain that again. I'm going to explain that again to you. So in Swift UI, the thing is you see that your body conforms to some view, right? That means something would be returned, which conforms to your view protocol, which obeys your view, view protocol. So if you think about it, this pretty much means that you should only be able to return one element which obeys your view protocol. So if you have, let's say, two elements right here, which says, hey, and another text which says, hello, you see, well, you're returning two elements right here, right, which is not possible. So if you want to return two elements, you have to obviously return one. That's one way to say it. But what you can do is you can put them into either H stack or a V stack. So H stack is something which allows you to place elements horizontally. That is your display flex and flex direction row, if you want to think about it as a web developer. Or V stack is an option which displays your elements as vertically, which is your flex direction of column. All right, so starting off with H stack, you just pretty much place it like this and move your elements like that. Once you do that, what you're going to see is, let's see if I can resume this right here. All right. So once we have that, we can have a little bit of more customization. For example, inside this H stack, I can say that its alignment is just like we did with the text view. Its alignment is dot leading. And I'm just checking if I can get the completions working. Nope. So anyway, its alignment is leading and let's say I want a spacing of 30. So now if you go ahead and save this, yeah, this is because dot leading is available for V stack. For H stack, we have center or first text alignment or whatever else option you want. You can just get that from control space. So now you see that spacing allows us to have spacing between our H stack elements. So I can have more more edge stack something like this and it should work just work out of the box so if you want to see available options for alignment just remove everything and press that control and space let's say i have uh, last text baseline as the alignment so now when we save this we're going to see that we get hey hello or more edge stack in a single row right and these text baselines are just if you kind of like zoom in very, very much, you're going to see that if you have, let's say, images and text, all that in one edge stack, you can align their baselines, right? <clears throat> so this is what they talked about in WWDC when they were referring to alignment and all that stuff. So it's, it's very precise alignment of views relative to each other, right? So this is a little bit of introduction with edge stack. We can do a lot more with um, layout systems like these we can create complicated layouts so on and so forth so that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and like the video thank you all for watching and i'll see you then in the next one